Well, it's a story we first broke to you on the WGXA app. A duo firing shots outside the Hummingbird in downtown Macon after they were denied entry. Tonight, we're looking into the past incidents of crime outside both the Hummingbird and other businesses owned by the same man. Carlos Stevens is standing by live with that part of the story. Carlos, the Hummingbird is still open for business, though, correct? Guys, to my knowledge, the Hummingbird is still open for business even after this weekend shooting. In fact, the owner of the Hummingbird is connected to other businesses that have been shut down or disciplined for other crimes. The latest instance of violence in downtown Macon involved two people who allegedly fired shots from a car towards the Hummingbird after they weren't allowed inside the bar. Just three months ago, another shooting outside the Hummingbird following a fight. Tim Obelgunner owns the Hummingbird. He also owns 20's Pub, Billy's Clubhouse, and the former Thirsty Turtle. Commissioners placed restrictions on 20's Pub and shut down the Thirsty Turtle. Those decisions also followed violence at those establishments. County leaders told WGXA News in June that the shooting then was not expected to have an impact on Opal Gunner's standing at the Hummingbird. Fast forward three months and yet another shooting connected to his business. And this duo has been arrested for firing shots outside of the Hummingbird this past weekend. But the business, it still remains open. We reached out to the mayor's office about this latest shooting. In a statement to WGXA News, county officials say in part, any shooting anywhere is of great concern as public safety is our community's top priority. The commission's role here is to create laws and policy and to provide technology that will lead to a better, safer environment. The statements continues. The commission approved additional measures to tighten and clarify existing laws. The recent incident downtown is one that shows policy and legislation can have an impact on public safety. Security guards and high quality cameras are required by law and those were present during this incident. The security guards kept the people out of the bar, meaning the situation could not intensify around a crowd of people and the cameras allowed the sheriff's office to identify them quickly. While the Hummingbird remains open after this most recent shooting, another is closed. Recess, a making downtown bar. It is set to be closed for 90 days after a man was shot and killed on the sidewalk of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. The business was served a temporary alcohol license suspension by the Bibb County Sheriff's Office just over a week ago. Now we have asked Mayor Lester Miller and the Bibb County Sheriff's Office for an on-camera interview. While the Bibb Sheriff's Office has agreed to interview, we're waiting to hear back from the Mayor's Office. I plan to also try to interview the owner tomorrow of the Hummingbird. We'll update you on that when we get those interviews. Amanda, Greg.